Hey, welcome to a new video. Ancient Egypt is a civilization abundant with incredible archaeological treasures and mysteries. In this video, we will delve into the fascinating secrets of one of history's most captivating civilizations. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Twenty-five. The Lost City of Tanis The Lost City of Tanis, rich in Biblical and Egyptian history, remains a crucial archaeological site. Known as Janet in ancient times and Zoan in the Old Testament, it is now called Sun El Hagar. The city was a thriving capital during Egypt's 21st and 22nd dynasties, and a vital commercial center before Alexandria rose to prominence. Despite its historical significance, its location in the Nile Delta was obscured for centuries, marked only by hill-like mounds and silted plains. The city was rediscovered in the 20th century by French archaeologist Pierre Monte after extensive excavations, revealing an array of funerary treasures comparable to Tutankhamun's, including golden masks, silver coffins, elaborate sarcophagi, and other artifacts from intact royal tombs. One significant revelation was the tomb of King Sheshonk II, adorned with jewels belonging to Sheshonk I, highlighting the importance of Tanis's rulers during that period. 24. The Pyramid Texts Ancient Egyptian inscriptions known as the Pyramid Texts were found inside Pharaoh's tombs, offering insights into religious and funerary practices. Comprising personal incantations and sacerdotal spells, these texts guided the deceased through the afterlife, and were crucial in their elaborate funeral ceremonies. They reveal the Pharaoh's devotion to a complex pantheon of gods. While the texts were originally housed in grand pyramids, over time they were found in more economical underground tombs, still adorned with intricate carvings and hieroglyphs. Interpretations have sparked debates among scholars, especially regarding the ancient Egyptians' understanding of astronomy. These texts, although not widely known to the general public, offer a unique lens into ancient Egyptian beliefs surrounding death, the afterlife, and the cosmos. Re-evaluation of these inscriptions could provide new perspectives on ancient Egyptian religion and astronomy. 23. The Karnak Keshet Hidden within the Temple of Amun at Karnak, Luxor, lies the Karnak Keshet, an archaeological marvel that remains a testament to Egypt's rich history. Unearthed between 1903 and 1905, the cache is the largest discovery of statuary in Egypt, boasting over 20,000 statues and stelae. Originating as votive offerings from devout visitors, these sacred artifacts were intentionally buried by priests to preserve their sanctity. The excavation process was far from simple, a high Nile water table turned the site into a muddy challenge for workers, posing preservation issues. Despite immediate protective measures, thieves stole two statues, which led to an investigation and eventual recovery. Some items from the cache, unfortunately, remain lost due to theft or mismanagement over time. Led by Georges Legrand, who claimed extensive documentation of each object, the excavation suffered another loss. Much of Legrand's original notes are missing. Select objects were documented in the Catalogue Général du Musée du Caire, published between 1906 and 1925. Research continues to unravel the Cachette's secrets, as it remains a significant yet not fully explored aspect of Egypt's religious and cultural heritage. 22. The Book of the Dead The ancient Egyptian Book of the Dead, dating back to around 1550 to 1069 BC, isn't a single text, but a collection of spells and guidelines meant to assist the departed on their journey through the afterlife. It originated from earlier works like the pyramid texts and coffin texts, and made beliefs about the afterlife available to more than just the royal elite. The book features gods, such as Osiris, associated with resurrection, and Re, connected to the sun. It describes a journey involving entry into the underworld, resurrection with Re, traveling the sky, and undergoing divine judgment. The outcome of this journey relies on the deceased's ability to properly recite spells and respond to the gods. This text provides insights into ancient Egyptian concepts of the soul, like Ka and Ba, and practices like mummification. 21. Deir el-Medina 
Deir el Medina was an ancient Egyptian workers' village inhabited by skilled artisans who worked on tombs in the Valley of the Kings during the New Kingdom period, approximately 1550 to 1080 BC. The village was originally called Setmat, meaning the Place of Truth, and its residents were known as the Servants in the Place of Truth. The site is located on the west bank of the Nile, near modern-day Luxor. During the 1922 excavations, led by Bernard Bruyere, a wealth of information about daily life in this ancient community, spanning nearly four centuries, was uncovered. Deir el Medina is unique for its detailed insights into the organization, social interactions, working conditions, and community life of the time. This community comprised a diverse population of Egyptians, Nubians, and Asiatics employed as laborers, craftsmen, and administrative personnel for royal tomb and temple decoration. The workers were organized into two groups, known as the left and right gangs, who worked on opposite sides of tomb walls. They lived in relative seclusion to maintain the secrecy of their tasks. 20. Amarna Letters Discovered in 1887 at El Amarna in Upper Egypt, the Amarna Letters are a set of 382 clay tablets that provide invaluable insight into the geopolitics of the ancient world, specifically during the reigns of Egyptian pharaohs Amenophis III and Akhenaten from 1360 to 1332 BC. Written in cuneiform, a script more commonly associated with Mesopotamia, they serve as a unique treasure in the field of Egyptology. These tablets mainly comprise diplomatic correspondence between Egypt and its vassals in Canaan and Amuru, helping to decode pre-Hebrew and Phoenician languages and cultures. The letters also reference relationships with other key powers of the time, including Babylonia, Assyria, Mitanni, and the Hittites. They offer a historical anchor through mentions of Babylonian king Kadishman Enlil I, confirming the mid-14th century BC setting. Moreover, they bring up the enigmatic Habiru, sparking debates about possible ties to the Hebrews. 19. The Osirayan Located behind the Temple of Seti I in Abydos, Egypt, the Osirayan is an architectural enigma that challenges the conventional understanding of ancient Egyptian structures. Dating back to around 1290 BC, it's closely associated with Seti I, though its true purpose remains elusive. Unlike other temples or tombs, it lacks the typical round pillars and instead features square granite columns, some weighing up to 100 tons, 90 tons. Transporting these massive blocks from Aswan, located over 200 miles, 321.87 kilometers away, is itself a feat shrouded in mystery. First excavated in 1902 to 03 by Flinders Petrie and Margaret Murray, the Osirian baffles scholars with its lower elevation compared to Seti I's temple complex. This quirk in its design has fueled debates about its age and function. The central stone island surrounded by water channels hints at symbolic interpretations, possibly representing primeval waters in Egyptian mythology. It houses the King's List, an important artifact chronicling Egyptian rulers from Menes to Seti, Mun. 18. El Minya Hidden Tombs just three miles, six kilometers, from the renowned Khmun necropolis Tuna El Gabel, El Minya is drawing considerable attention in the archaeological world. Researchers have discovered eight tombs featuring 40 sarcophagi that date back to the Pharaonic Late Period and the Ptolemaic Dynasty, spanning over 2,000 years. A standout find is the tomb of Jehuti Irdi S, a high-ranking priest of Thoth. This tomb is laden with artifacts including four alabaster canopic jars embellished with the heads of Horus's sons, each holding well-preserved mummified organs. Moreover, the site unveiled 1,000 Ushabati figurines, small servant figures meant to accompany the deceased into the afterlife. Notably, the mummy itself was adorned with a bronze collar depicting the goddess Nut and multiple amulets made of semi-precious stones, showcasing high social status. 17. The Catacombs of Qam el Shokafa. The Catacombs of Qam el Shokafa in Alexandria, Egypt, are underground tombs dating back to the 2nd century AD. The name translates to Mound of Shards, reflecting the broken terracotta jars left by visitors. Built under the Antonine Emperors, the catacombs began as a pharaonic burial site 
and evolved into a multi-level network of tunnels and chambers. Unique for their mix of Hellenistic, Egyptian, and Roman styles, the catacombs feature various religious symbols and statues. They also have a banquet room for memorial feasts. Accessible through a spiral staircase with a vertical shaft, the catacombs have a principal tomb chamber with a temple-like facade. For over three centuries, they served as a burial site for many Alexandrians, with the capacity to hold about 300 corpses. 16. The Giza Solar Boat Ancient Egypt holds many secrets, and one of the most fascinating discoveries is the Khufu ship, a remarkable solar bark that dates back to around 2500 BC during the fourth dynasty of the Old Kingdom. This full-size vessel was found sealed in a pit near the Great Pyramid of Pharaoh Khufu, forming part of the funerary goods believed to aid the pharaoh in the afterlife. The Khufu ship is an astonishing piece of ancient craftsmanship, measuring 142 feet, 43.4 meters, in length and 19 feet, 5.9 meters, in width. It is not only one of the oldest ships ever discovered, but also one of the best preserved. Experts have marveled at its construction, describing it as a masterpiece of woodcraft that could still sail if placed in water today. The exact purpose of this remarkable ship remains a mystery. It's classified as a solar barge, which ancient Egyptians believed would carry the resurrected king across the heavens with the sun god Ra. 15. The Tomb of Nefertari A marvel of archaeology, the Tomb of Nefertari was unearthed in 1904 in the Valley of the Queens in Egypt. It was constructed for the esteemed great wife of Pharaoh Rameses II, and it is renowned for its elaborate wall paintings depicting celestial themes and scenes from the Book of the Dead. These artworks vividly narrate her life and her metaphysical journey, illustrating moments like her engagement in a game of Senet and her appearance before Thoth, the deity of writing. Regrettably, before its modern-day discovery, tomb raiders had violated the sanctity of the tomb, leaving her sarcophagus and mummy lost to history. The tomb, closed in 1950 to preserve its remaining treasures, has undergone very detailed restoration and stands today as a silent homage to Nefertari's enduring legacy and the profound spiritual beliefs of ancient Egypt. The thing no one knew is that during its restoration, experts discovered traces of ancient organic compounds within the tomb, likely remnants of funeral offerings, including residues of oils and possibly food, shedding light on the highly ritualized burial processes of the time. 14. The Sunken City of Heracleon The Sunken City of Heracleon, also called Thonis Heracleon, is an ancient Egyptian city near the canopic mouth of the Nile, about 20 miles 32 kilometers northeast of Alexandria on the Mediterranean Sea. Its history traces back to the 12th century BC and is mentioned by ancient Greek historians. Initially, the city was built on Nile Delta Islands, strategically positioned for trade, featuring canals, harbors, and anchorages, serving as a major trading port and tax collection center. Heracleon sanctuaries, dedicated to deities like Osiris, were renowned for their healing powers. In the second century BC, Alexandria's rise and a possible natural disaster, like a tsunami or earthquake, led to Heraclean's decline. Over time, the city sank beneath the sea and was fully submerged by the 8th century AD. Though known from literary and epigraphic sources, it remained undiscovered until 2000 when French underwater archaeologist Frank Godio and his team employed advanced technology to locate and map the site in Abu Kir Bay. Excavations unveiled a treasure trove of artifacts, including ships, statues, jewelry, coins, and ceramics. 13. The Temple of Karnak Holding the distinction of being the largest religious complex from the ancient world, the Temple of Karnak is located in Luxor, Egypt. It is primarily dedicated to the god Amun-Re, and the site experienced continuous expansion for over 2,000 years. The most iconic feature, the Great Hypostyle Hall, initiated by Seti I, is composed of 134 colossal sandstone columns, some soaring up to 65 feet, 20 meters. The hall's detailed inscriptions and reliefs provide crucial insights into the New Kingdom era of Egypt, encompassing religious doctrines, political shifts, and military campaigns. 
Remarkably, it features depictions of the Egyptian-Hittite conflicts and records the earliest known international peace treaty signed by Ramesses II. However, the hall faces decay due to water infiltration and salt crystallization, threatening the invaluable inscriptions. To address this, the Karnak Great Hypostyle Hall project was established with the goals of digitally documenting the inscriptions, enhancing academic accessibility, and developing effective conservation strategies. 12. The Oxyrhynchus Papyri A collection of ancient manuscripts, the Oxyrhynchus Papyri, was uncovered in Egypt by daring explorers at the juncture of the 19th and 20th centuries. These manuscripts, spanning from the 3rd century BC to 640 AD, serve as priceless time capsules, offering insights into the everyday life of the Ptolemaic and Roman periods. While Greek is the predominant language in these documents, they also encapsulate texts in Latin, Egyptian hieroglyphics, and Arabic. Despite the collection potentially numbering in the hundreds of thousands, only about 5,000 have been transcribed thus far. It houses a myriad of public records, formal correspondences, tax assessments, and personal letters, as well as literary gems from Plato, plays by Menander, and Euclid's illustrative elements. A standout discovery within this collection was the satyr play, Ishnute, by Sophocles. The thing no one knew is that, nestled within, are some of the earliest Christian documents known to man, casting light on the formative years of Christianity and its foundational texts. 11. The Abydos Helicopter The Abydos carvings are a set of hieroglyphs found in the Temple of Seti I in Abydos, Egypt. These carvings have sparked interest because they appear to some as depicting modern or even extraterrestrial vehicles. However, experts say that this is a misunderstanding. The carvings are the result of two sets of inscriptions overlaid on each other, a practice called palimpsest. The original inscription was made during the reign of Seti I, who ruled from around 1290 to 1279 BC. It was later modified by his son Ramesses II. Over time, the plaster used to fill in the original carving eroded, leaving both inscriptions partially visible. This created an effect where the carving seemed to depict something else, like a helicopter. This visual trick is known as pareidolia, where people see patterns, such as familiar objects or shapes, where none exist. 10. The Lost Labyrinth of Egypt Constructed around 1800 BC by Pharaoh Amenemhat III, the Lost Labyrinth of Egypt was an underground complex renowned for its grandiosity and intricate design, celebrated by ancient historians like Herodotus as surpassing even the pyramids in wonder. It boasted 12 courts, a lavishly adorned temple, and thousands of chambers. Enveloped by an external wall, the labyrinth also had a pyramid situated at its corner. Over the centuries, the labyrinth deteriorated, was dismantled, and its stones were repurposed, obscuring its precise location. In the 19th century, Egyptologist Carl Richard Lepsius believed he located it near Amenemhat III's pyramid. Supporting this, a 2008 Belgian-Egyptian expedition employed ground-penetrating radar to identify a subterranean temple nearby. 9. Saqqara Necropolis the Saqqara Necropolis, situated 18 miles 30 kilometers south of Cairo, is home to Egypt's earliest pyramid, the Steppe Pyramid, constructed circa 2700 BC for King Djoser by Imhotep, the first recorded artist in history. It marked a revolutionary departure from traditional mastabas, featuring six stacked structures and the world's inaugural stone columns, influencing subsequent Greek architecture and setting enduring architectural precedents. Recent explorations have unearthed megatombs with burials dating over 2,000 years, revealing painted coffins and grave goods, offering insights into the spiritual practices and culture of ancient Egypt during its zenith. These discoveries, spanning over 3,000 years, highlight Saqqara's multifaceted role in pharaonic culture and its contributions to humanity's great civilization, overshadowed by Luxor and the Great Pyramids. 8. Egyptian Reanimation Rites Thumbnail The reanimation rite, pivotal in ancient Egyptian religion, intricately prepared the deceased for the afterlife, primarily through the opening of the mouth ceremony, enabling the deceased to breathe and eat in the afterlife. 
Rooted deeply in the Osiris myth, this ritual symbolized death and regeneration, aspiring to infuse the deceased with life and power. This multifaceted ritual, performed on mummies, statues of the deceased, and deities at varying locations, reflects profound Egyptian beliefs in life's continuity and their deep reverence for the deceased. Integral to daily temple rituals, it exemplified their commitment to ensuring a prosperous existence in the afterlife. The reanimation rite is a profound insight into the religious, philosophical, and cultural ethos of ancient Egypt, providing a nuanced perspective into the civilization's values, beliefs, and connections with the divine. 7. The Secrets and Treasures of KV-5 Located just 230 feet 70 meters, from Tutankhamun's tomb in Egypt's Valley of the Kings, KV-5 stands as the largest tomb ever discovered in the area. Unearthed in 1987 by Egyptologist Kent Weeks, KV-5 is believed to be the burial site for at least 52 sons of Pharaoh Ramesses II. With 130 known chambers, the tomb is a monumental piece of architecture featuring intricate reliefs and statuary, particularly dedicated to the god Osiris. Unlike many tombs that celebrate wealth or military victories, KV-5 serves as a solemn monument to familial loss, housing the numerous sons that Ramesses II outlived. Artifacts recovered from KV-5 include alabaster canopic jars, red granite sarcophagus fragments, amulets, and pottery shards. One touching discovery is the well-preserved head of Amenhotep Chef, Ramesses II's firstborn son. Despite looting and environmental damage, the tomb offers valuable insights into Egypt's New Kingdom period. 6. Abu Simbel Temples the Abu Simbel temples in Egypt's Aswan Governorate are rock-cut architectural marvels built by Pharaoh Ramesses II around 1264 BC, featuring colossal statues of Ramesses II and smaller ones of his family. The temples also depict the Pharaoh's heroism in the Battle of Kadesh through intricate inscriptions and sculptures. Remarkably, the entire complex was moved to higher ground in 1968 to avoid submersion by Lake Nasser costing about 40 million dollars, 37 million euros. Overseen by Polish archaeologist Kazimierz Miszawowski, this feat is among the largest archaeological preservation efforts ever. The temples were designed to showcase Egypt's power, particularly in the gold-rich region of Nubia. Forgotten and covered by sand, they were rediscovered in the early 19th century. Unique solar alignments within the temples eliminate statues on specific days, likely Ramesses II's birthday and coronation day, and interior walls displaying various military victories. 5. The Pyramids of Giza The Great Pyramid of Giza, built around 2570 BC and attributed to Pharaoh Khufu, stands as a testament to ancient Egyptian ingenuity. Originally the world's tallest structure at 480.3 feet, 146.6 meters, it remains impressive at its current 454.4 feet, 138.5 meters. The pyramid's base measures approximately 754.59 feet, 230 meters on each side, constructed primarily from local limestone, as well as Tura limestone and Aswan granite. Inside, three chambers include the enigmatic king's chamber, housing a granite sarcophagus. Presumed architect Hemiunu incorporated advanced techniques, though debates about the construction methods persist. The pyramid was part of a larger funerary complex, including mortuary temples and satellite pyramids. Despite medieval attributions to biblical figures, modern discoveries reaffirm Khufu's ownership. The city also reveals precise astronomical alignments. 4. Valley of the Kings Situated among the dramatic cliffs of Egypt's west bank of the Nile, the Valley of the Kings remains an archaeological gem, celebrated for royal burials but still shrouded in mystery. The 2005 discovery of KV-63, absent a mummy but rich in artifacts, ignited renewed interest, suggesting more hidden tombs await discovery. Contrary to popular belief, the valley also houses tombs of nobles and high-ranking officials adding layers to its allure. Furthermore, mummified animals found here suggest ancients' belief in pets accompanying them into the afterlife. Unyielding rocky terrain and occasional flash floods posed construction challenges, but ancient architects innovatively adapted. 
The valley's isolation and dedicated tomb police, the Medje, shielded these sanctuaries from grave robbers, although not entirely. Built by workers from the village of Deir el Medina, whose records even document labor strikes, the Valley of the Kings remains a captivating window into ancient Egypt's society. 3. The Rosetta Stone, 1799. The Rosetta Stone was discovered in 1799 by French officer Pierre-Francois Bouchard in Egypt. It contains a decree from 196 BC in three scripts, ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, Demotic script, and Greek. The stone was crucial for decoding hieroglyphs thanks to the work of scholars Thomas Young and Jean-Francois Champollion, who succeeded in 1822. Captured by the British in 1801 during the Napoleonic Wars, it has been housed in the British Museum since 1802. The decree celebrates the coronation of King Ptolemy V and outlines benefits for the Egyptian priesthood. The stone symbolizes various issues. For scholars, it's a key to ancient culture. For Egyptians, a national heritage emblem, and for global politics, a relic captured amidst imperial ambitions. The stone weighs 2,477 pounds, 1123 kilograms, and is made of granodiorite. It initially resided in a temple before being reused as building material. 2. The Great Sphinx of Giza The Great Sphinx of Giza, an awe-inspiring limestone statue on Egypt's Giza Plateau, has puzzled historians and archaeologists for centuries. Dating back to the Old Kingdom under Pharaoh Khafre, around 2558 to 2532 BC, this colossal monument, measuring 239.5 feet 73 meters in length and 65 feet 20 meters in height, captures the imagination with its lion body and human head. Contrary to myths, its damaged nose predates Napoleon's Egyptian campaign and remains a subject of speculation. Carved from a single piece of limestone, the Sphinx is not just an isolated artwork, but part of a grand design. Recent studies suggest it played a role in solar symbolism, aligned perfectly with the nearby pyramids of Khafre and Khufu to welcome the equinoxes and the summer solstice. This suggests that the monument was integral to ancient rituals designed to harness the sun's power and maintain cosmic balance. The labor force behind its construction also dismantles long-held beliefs about slave labor. Evidence points toward a large, organized workforce that may have been fulfilling a kind of national service rather than being enslaved. 1. The Unfinished Obelisk Located in the stone quarries of Aswan, the unfinished obelisk stands as an awe-inspiring monument to the engineering capabilities and grand ambitions of ancient Egypt. Commissioned by the female pharaoh Hatshepsut, who ruled from 1508 to 1458 BC, this colossal structure was intended to adorn the temple of Amun in Karnak. However, the project met an abrupt end due to flaws in the granite, causing cracks that led to its abandonment. If completed, the obelisk would have reached a staggering height of 137 feet, 42 meters, and weighed an estimated 1,200 tons, 1088 tons, dwarfing all other obelisks from the period. Rediscovered in the early 20th century after being buried for millennia, this ancient marvel has offered archaeologists and historians invaluable insights into the stone working techniques of the time. The technique used to extract the obelisk from its bedrock is particularly fascinating. Workers carved small cavities and filled them with sun-dried wooden wedges. When soaked in water, this wedge expanded, exerting immense pressure to free the stone. What aspect of ancient Egypt do you find most captivating? Let us know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like to see more videos that we made, click on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.